Hey there, welcome to your Shopify SEO optimization and rank your Shopify store free course. Here you are going to learn ultimate e-commerce SEO store guideline for your new Shopify online store. So if you have started your online business with Shopify and wanted to rank your Shopify online store in Google search engine or Bing, then you can continue this lesson. So let's get started. Today we are going to learn how to set up Google Analytics and create a robot.txt file. Before set up Google Analytics, we have to know what is Google Analytics. Google Analytics is basically a Google free product or service. To know more about that, I am going to my Shopify admin panel. Here is my Shopify admin panel. Then click on the online store, preference, scroll down. You can see that there is an option named Google Analytics and here is the basic details of Google Analytics. Google Analytics enable you to track the visitors to your store and generate report that will help you with your marketing. And you can learn more about Google Analytics by following this link. So here is the full details about Google Analytics but I am not going to cover everything in here because i want to share only the main things that is most relevant of this course and most useful for you because if i share full details this class will take more than one hour's time so that will be boring for you that's why i wanted to share the main things only for you so now here is the option to set up google analytics we have to paste Google Analytics code here and here is the link how do I set this up so click on this link here is the step by step guideline to set up but I wanted to share and I wanted to show you how you can do this also here is a problem that you can see there is a warning Google Analytics 4 because technology update every day to add the more featured and more advantages for users day by day and here is the google analytics 4 is coming or being available from 1st july 2023 so that's why here is a warning and we are going to read this warning right now google analytics 4 google update measurement platform is available through google channel app universal analytics will be removed from this section on july or on 1st july 2023 install the app to upgrade your account and avoid any data in corruption so shopify directly give us warning that we must use google analytics 4 instead of universal analytics and here is the google channel app link that i am going to open right now so click on this link now you have to scroll down to install this google app i'm going to scroll down click on the add this channel button okay now we have connect now you have connect your google analytics account or google account so i'm going to click on the connect it's super easy just click on connect button from here you have to select your email that you want to use in google analytics setup and before that you must have to log in your gmail account now you have to click on the connect button wow you have successfully set up google analytics for now you can get this insight into your online store performance with google analytics okay and here is the google merchant center now list your product on google to drive sales and reach more customers and uh, you have to click on the get status we are not going to learn about google merchant center we just going to set up google analytics that we have already done then you have to listing your product in google merchant center that is most important for your new store so i hope you understand the total process in this lesson in the next lesson we will learn how to product listing we'll learn more about google merchant center and how we can get more customers in your shopify online store using google app or google merchant center okay 
next we are going to learn about create a robot.txt file so what is robot.txt file i'm going to search in google what is robot.txt file in seo here is the answer a robot.txt file tells search engine crawlers which url the crawler can access in your store this is used mainly to avoid overloading your site with request it is not a mechanism for keeping a web page out of google to keep a web page out of google block indexing with no index or password protected the page for example i want to don't share the access for customer account page and for that robot txt file use so now we are going to learn how to create robot.txt file okay to create robot.txt file we have to go to our shopify admin panel then click on the online store click on this three dot icon edit code now open template folder create a new template select robot.txt file click on the done and you can see that we have created our robot.txt file so i hope you understand the easy process to set up your robot.txt file and google analytics so i will share two details video about google analytics and google and robot.txt file that will be more more helpful with a lot of information and easy example that you can learn deeply about google analytics and robot.txt file so thank you for your time to joining this class we'll see you in the next class have a nice day bye bye hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the wix or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to study your project so if you need fast delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye